Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about the five best cities in the Philippines to retire to based on my opinion. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, so I'm going to talk about the five best cities in the Philippines to retire to. And again, like I said, this is based on my opinion. This is based on my time here in the Philippines. I've been here four years now and I have hopped around quite a bit moved around, experienced uh, different islands. And uh, again, I have not been everywhere. So are there better places? There, there very well could be. I just haven't been there yet. And, uh, and it's also based on my likes and dislikes. Now, a lot of people will have different likes and dislikes, and therefore their list would be different than mine. Um, so again, this could be a good uh, review and, and a good thing just for people who've never been out to the Philippines and they kind of need like a short list of maybe places that they should check out. So we'll go ahead and get going. And guys, I will put up up here in the corner, I'll put my list of uh, Philippine cities review that I have reviewed as of so far. Of course, that whole project uh, got delayed when this whole pandemic stopped. The last city I was in, which is where I'm at right now, is Dumaguete, and here I am still. Um, Still hoping to get out. I'm still still trying to get to Malaysia. Again, that's a that's a video for another time. So let's go ahead and begin. And again, um, I'll give you the uh, from rank it from uh, the worst to the best. Uh, and when I say worst, I mean uh, my favorite. So number five is going to be Cebu for me. Now, when I first landed in the Philippines, I was in Cebu for two years. I was here working at an English school. Um, enjoyed my time there. Um, and again, I'm not going to go into heavy detail about each city. If you want more detail, click the link up there. Look in my playlist of cities reviewed where I go into much more detail, okay? All right, so Cebu. What do I like about Cebu? Cebu's got a really great mix. Um, you got a, a great mix of uh, city life. And if you travel outside of Cebu, you got really just a fantastic island just with loads of nature, uh, hiking, waterfalls. You got beaches. Um, you got a lot of great uh, places. Cebu is also a big melting pot. Um, a lot of girls and a lot of Filipinos come from all over the Philippines to come work in Cebu. It's the second largest city in the Philippines. Um, with that comes pollution, uh, traffic. So those are some of the negatives. Now, if you're a single guy and you're looking for dating, Cebu is fantastic. Um, you've got uh, a lot of Western amenities, if you're looking for that, if you want to part modern apartments and condos and you want Western uh, restaurants to eat at, you have that. Um, if you wanna live right outside of Cebu, you can do that as well and you can live in some uh, pretty nice areas too. Um, one of the things I didn't like, I did kind of see an, a rise in crime. Um, maybe it was just me, but it seemed that way before I had left, crime seemed to be going up. Um, with the pandemic, it could be worse. I don't know. But uh, I didn't like the pollution. I didn't like all the traffic. Anytime I wanted to go out to a waterfall or a beach or whatever, um, traffic and, and everything, it, it literally took like an hour just to get out of the Cebu city. So those are some of the negatives. But I did enjoy Cebu. It can be a fantastic place for a lot of people. There's a lot of things to see and do. Dating is fantastic. Great condos. Um, so Cebu is number five for me. Coming in at number four for me is Davao. So Davao is located over in Mindanao. Now, a lot of people uh, don't want to go to Mindanao, and that's fine. Davao is in the safe area. Um, I think Davao is probably one of the safer cities in the Philippines, to be honest, uh, because uh, the president uh, was mayor there, and now his daughter is, and rules pretty, pretty uh, kind of like with an iron fist. So um, I feel it's pretty safe. It's got this fantastic night market that you can go and, and get barbecue and uh, um, homemade ice cream and just uh, some fantastic uh, sites in Davao. Or, or, and there's a lot of great uh, restaurants. I checked out this uh, wing place one time, um, and a guy was from Australia who owned it, and it was a fantastic uh, joint that had uh, great wings. Um, so you can also find a lot of Western amenities, condos, um, you're near the ocean, um, almost with every place in the Philippines, really. I mean, we're is an island nation. So, um, Davao, I found the people to be extremely friendly. I don't know what it is. And I also found the, the women to be pretty attractive in Mindanao. Um, again, 
based on my opinion. They're attractive and nice women everywhere in the Philippines. But Davao was uh, quite nice. I liked it a lot. I really like Samal Island. We can hop over to uh, Samal Island and uh, it's just like a 15 minute ferry ride, real cheap. And uh, they got waterfalls and they got uh, great scuba diving and snorkeling and uh, just some fantastic sites. Uh, Davao's got uh, like five malls, I think, maybe even more. And uh, they're kind of spaced out over the city. The, some things I don't like is traffic. And you'll kind of hear this repeating factor um, throughout uh, the Philippines is traffic, right? I, I, I think it's going to happen almost anywhere you go in the Philippines. But traffic, uh, there's a little pollution. I did notice Davao is a lot cleaner than a lot of the other cities. Um, probably, again, because the president uh, was mayor there and now the daughter is. And um, so I noticed it was cleaner, but you do have a little pollution, you know, with all the traffic. The city is really spread out. So, you know, to go to one point to another, um, it can be quite the haul. And if you're taking taxis or your own transportation, you're not just uh, hopping around the city. It's not a small city. It's, it's a large city. In fact, I think it's the largest city in the Philippines as far as uh, area-wise mass. Um, so a lot of great nature right outside as well. Great festivals, great night market, uh, condos. I like uh, Davao. There's also great hospitals. A lot of people come to Davao to study medicine, actually. A lot of pe uh, people from India actually come to Davao to study because it's uh, less expensive. So there are good hospitals there as well. So coming in at number three for me is going to be uh, Bahol. And Bahol, I really like. Um, the thing about Bahol is it's got fantastic roads. Um, really great road. So if you have a, uh, a scooter or a motorbike and you want to just explore the entire island, fantastic roads, um, pretty wide open, and there's a, a lot of nature, a lot of great beaches. Um, if you're uh, somebody who's into snorkeling and scuba diving, you'll love it. You can really live kind of like a very quiet province type of life in Bohol. Now, they do have the main city, Teg Tegbalaran. Again, if I pronounce any names wrong, uh, I apologize. I, I always get comments. Oh, you didn't pronounce this name right. Um, so I'm, I'm sorry, I don't have all the names perfectly uh, pronounced all the time. <laughs> but um, uh, Tegbalaran's a decent sized city. It's got a couple of malls. It's got the one major mall. And uh, they do have, uh, I don't know if they have any, they do have some condos and they got apartments on, in Panglao Beach, Alona, Panglao and Alona Beach is, is there. Um, Anda Beach is fantastic. Um, but the rest of really, um, Bohol is really just small little cities. So if you don't mind living a, a quiet province beach type life, Bohol is great. And if you like just scooting around, dri driving your motorbike all over the place, Bohol is fantastic for that. Very friendly people. Um, negatives. Well, there's not a lot of infrastructure there, really. You know, if you're looking for malls and a lot of Western food and things like that, you're probably only going to find that in the Tegbalaran, uh, Ang Lao, you know, Alona Beach area. But the rest of the uh, island, you're, not, you're, you're really not going to find that. So, Bohol's number three for me. Coming in at number two is the city of Valencia. Valencia is right outside of Dumaguete. Um, it's up in the mountains which a lot of expats really like that because the weather, um, and I couldn't give you an exact, but I think it can be anywhere from 10 to 20 uh, degrees uh, cooler. And a lot of people, a lot of expats will tell me that they don't even run their air, con uh, their air condition and they get the lower electric bill because they get uh, cool air. And at night, they definitely don't need the air con. Um, they, call it, they call it air con here for short instead of air condition. So, but uh, yeah, they don't even run it. A um, lot of natural beauty up in Valencia. There's just a lot of great places. Uh, there's a lot of uh, springs and waterfalls, um, a lot of beauty to see there. Um, the negative is there's, there's really, anytime you want groceries or anything like that, you do need to head into Dumaguete to really get to the grocery store. So you do have a, um, you don't have any hospital there. You'd have to get into Dumaguete. So if an emergency happened, you're going to have to get into Dumaguete, um, groceries, um, brownouts are a thing that happen uh, here in the Dumaguete, Valencia area. And I'm really talking more about Valencia, not really Dumaguete, but Valencia um, still is really a, a nice life. 
and a lot of expats just really, really love it. And I can see why, because it's uh, just really nice up there. So Valencia um, is number two for me. Again, guys, if you want more details, check out the playlist for Cities Reviewed up in the corner there. So number one for me is actually Cagayan de Oro. I really like Cagayan de Oro. Um, now, there are some parts of Cagayan de Oro that aren't my favorite. The town, the, the specific part that I really like is a section called Uptown. Um, it's clean, it's modern, it's got condos, it's got uh, SM City Mall there. So you got the mall walking distance from the condo. You got great coffee shops, uh, great um, Western style restaurants, and uh, very friendly people, really friendly people. I liked it. Um, dating would probably be fantastic. There's not a ton of expats there, but there's just enough. If you do want to have uh, some socializing with other expats, you can certainly get it. But at the same time, if you don't really want to be around other expats, you can have that as well. Um, and you can find the expat restaurants where you can get the Western uh, style food, condos. Um, there's a lot of nature. You got whitewater rafting. Um, you got a lot of seafood restaurants right on the ocean there. That's fantastic. Cagayan de Oro it was ra is rated number one for their electric and their power system here. Um, never had a brownout the whole time I was living there, which was fantastic. Every other city I lived in had brownouts. <laughs> but not in Cagayan de Oro. In fact, in Cagayan de Oro, I even went through an earthquake one time. I was actually teaching English online. Um, my computer is shaking, everything shaking. But hey, no problem. Our stayed on. I couldn't believe it. It was, it was fantastic. So Cagayan de Oro is great. They've got, uh, I think I mentioned, whitewater rafting. There's uh, Camigan Island, um, which is not that far away. You can take a, a, a trip out to Camigan Island. Um, up, uh, up in the mountain there, I, I forget the name of it. Um, I'll, I'll put it down below. But uh, there is an infinity pool that's up on the mountain. There's a great uh, uh, bar and restaurant with live music. You can swim in the infinity pool, overlooking the whole city lit up at night while you're listening to music. And you got the restaurant and everything up there. Um, just fantastic place. Um, so I really like Cagayan de Oro. Uh, they have, I think, four malls, maybe five. And they're all like right next to each other, which is fantastic, except for SM City. By Uptown. Um, traffic and uh, pollution, again, underlining theme here in the Philippines, uh, can be a bit problematic to get out of the city. Um, but you do have some fantastic cities around and some great uh, uh, destinations that are pretty nearby. So guys, that's my top five. Again, Guys, this is just my opinion based on my four years here and where I have traveled. I have not been everywhere. So are there better places? Absolutely. I'm sure there probably are in the Philippines. There's, there's probably many great places here to live. Um, so give me some of your uh, top five. I'd love to hear it. Um, and if you have some of the same ones as, as I do. Guys, check out my YouTube members. Um, sign up uh, where I do exclusive uh, live streaming and Patreon as well, where you got 50 plus some videos at G on the Philippines for Patreon. And uh, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and all that jazz. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.